What's going on there folks? Good evening, good Friday evening. August 5th, 2022 is the date, about 8.01 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 0.9, a little small microquake out here. Into the area of Southern California shown up there on the Earthquake 3D globe. Let's go ahead and start things off first with some activity kicking up along the Cascadia subduction zone up here around the northern end. Well, kind of the northern end up outside of Seattle underneath this area about 35 45 kilometers down dip into the subduction zone we got about oh, 151 epicenters of trimmer confined to that area tonight so uh, looks like things may be kicking back up there in in the uh, region of the Pacific Northwest we'll definitely keep an eye on it uh, as far as earthquake activity goes I find this kind of odd nothing at all across the Pacific Northwest and this is the all magnitudes map so I find it a little rare uh, I am gonna check out the Mount Shasta uh, seismograph station first or uh, Mount St. Helens I should say and uh, see if we have any earthquake activity going on up there at that volcano um, just kind of a, a little telltale sign if we have any type of seismic activity at all in the Pacific Northwest I like I say I find it pretty odd that nothing's being reported uh, definitely seen a couple small spikes here throughout the graph within the past couple hours there at Mount St. Helens and uh, Pretty quiet though throughout the rest of the day. It looks like morning time frame and afternoon things just a little on the quiet side up there throughout the uh, uh, Pacific Northwest also if you want to check out any type of seismograph stations across the Pacific Northwest the PNSN network has a large array of them all over the place so you can check out anything from volcanoes to uh, just seismic activity in general across the uh, across the map most of these do work and uh, I do check them on occasion as far as seismic activity goes some of this stuff may be background noise or interference uh, depending on where the seismograph station is located most of the time distinct spikes will show up in terms of uh, seismic activity on any seismograph so uh, looks like it's really hard to tell on this type of map maybe these larger ones here might be seismic activity but uh, I'm not for sure where this one's at uh, looks like the Lewis and Clark area up here outside of Astoria uh, we'll go down the coast a little bit and see what we got for some uh, further movement. Rockaway Beach, Oregon. I think I've been there a time or two. <laughs> Rockaway Beach. Not for sure what's going on with the seismograph station there, but uh, that's not uh, definitely not normal. And it uh, looks like there's some type of interference here at this station as well. So uh, those are not earthquakes at all. All right. Earthquake activity listed here on the map from the USGS shows a little bit of movement here. Uh, again, this activity from uh, it looks like uh, earlier this afternoon and overnight time frame. A couple small microquakes here at the southern end of the Cascadia, right along the Mendocino Fault Zone there. As uh, far as the rest of Northern California goes, don't forget we do have one up here, uh, a little uh, 2.9 on the Blanco Fracture Zone. But that's about it. Things kind of quiet for now in that area. Movement outside of the Clear Lake area, 2.1 at 3.4 kilometers and your typical hydrothermal operation swarm out there around the Cobb Mountain region of Northern California creating those earthquakes for uh, power gotta make some power out there uh, movement along the San Andreas Fault active as well that is the creeping segment the creeping section no major swarms kicking off here if you look at the west coast not a whole lot ain't nothing when it comes to 2.5 and above even the microquake map tends to look a little, uh, a little spotty tonight. Not seeing too much in terms of earthquake movement here along the west coast or the North American plate for that matter. Uh, at least as far as the states go, a little scattered activity throughout Oklahoma and Texas. We got some movement down here south of San Antonio outside of the Three Rivers area, 1.9 and a 2.2. Um, I'm pretty certain I know what's out here. I think it's listed out here throughout the map. Hundreds and thousands of oil pumping operations out here. Let's go ahead and check out the satellite view here real quick and I'll show you guys. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Check it out, folks. Those are not cute little farmhouses or little pads to park your trailer on out there in the uh, 
uh, in the Texas region. Those are hydrothermal or uh, uh, oil pumping operations and injection wells. Some of them look older uh, and then some of them do look new with some ponds and whatnot out here. Uh, you can see that uh, beautiful little green pond. A uh, whole wastewater injection system does tend to create those earthquakes down below there. And um, that's just a, a little prime example throughout the Texas area. Those will only continue to get worse. We see them a lot through Oklahoma and uh, sometimes up in Kansas as well. New Madrid zone, uh, seen a, uh, looks like a 1.3 just outside the uh, Marston, Missouri area. One earthquake here around the, uh, what is that, Calhoun, Calhoun Tennessee. 1.5 at 16.4 kilometers. I had an email today uh, from, uh, I'm not going to mention the name on here, but they kind of gave me a little bit of a constructive criticism when in terms of attempting my pronunciations. Like literally the lady threw me under the bus and said that uh, it's better for me to pronounce it wrong than not even to pronounce it at all. Sometimes I don't think that's that's all, all accurate, but I will do my best in terms of attempting to pronounce words that may not be in my recent vocabulary. I definitely try to do a, um, a little search of them before I do the update. Sometimes uh, I forget, but uh, anyway, we'll do our best to uh, pronounce those uh, correctly or incorrectly, but we'll try to do it. All right, Middle America Trench down here off the coast of the Costa Rica area, San Jose, Costa Rica region. 4.4 kicking off there into the southern end of the Middle America Trench at 4.4 at 35 kilometers. And some activity out here in the Colombia region as well, a little 4.5. Movement outside of Puerto Rico looks very typical right now. No major swarms going on throughout the South America region either. Uh, did have some activity on the South Sandwich Trench earlier. Looks like a 5.0 at 29 kilometers. Since then, uh, not a whole lot. I know we had some activity up here around the uh, Iceland area once again. Let's check out the latest activity here on the the uh, EMSC model. See if we can get one of these to kick up here. Could have swore we had at least a four in this region. What do we got there? A little 3.1. What happened to the four that kicked off? I know I got a notification from it. Uh, looks a little odd, but uh, either way, earthquake activity is still continuing up there around Iceland. Volcanic activity is still continuing as well. Far as the latest information on the uh, Ricky Jane's regional volcanic activity, nothing major has changed. Uh, I know the tourist, tourists are up there flocking like birds to get a, a beautiful bird's eye view, so to speak, with their cameras and whatnot. Um, and it looks like there's little hazard for pollution from the gas of the uh, volcanic activity currently from the fissure that's uh, spewing out some lava uh, estimated to be about uh, about 100 to 300 meters long in length uh, for that fissure but uh, things are still steady uh, far as the activity goes there at the volcano currently uh, let's see what we got at the big island of Hawaii uh, Monolo, I, I definitely try to pronounce these, you know, and I'm open. I am completely open to correction at all, you know, it, it, with anything. You know, if I were to say uh, Mountain View wrong, or maybe I were to say it uh, Mountain View, you know, I would definitely want to be correct, but obviously Mountain View, pretty easy one there. But Hawaii does have some interesting names there, and I'm not a, uh, um, a super good pronouncer when it comes to some of these names but like i said if i if i say something wrong please correct me i have no problem but man this this person basically belittled me to the point of like okay wow good good grief all right as far as earthquake activity going at the mona loa region no major changes at the volcano just a couple small earthquakes now a couple very small ones uh but compared to last week Things have definitely died down within this area of Mauna Loa. Looking at today's earthquakes, only about four of them up there. But then again, things can change in a blink of an eye, folks. So just stay on guard. Pahala, typical activity out there, about 16 earthquakes. No, Again, no major changes at any of the volcanoes. Kilauea is still erupting uh, and the lava confined to that crater area. Uh, seeing a little bit of movement still uh, around the volcano islands in the Japan region. The latest quake of 4.5. 
This is kind of south of the swarming area that we noted oh, over the past week or so. We've seen a pretty good swarm of movement, about 30 earthquakes of 4 and 5 magnitudes, uh, including a 5.7 that kicked up there uh, just a couple days ago. Uh, things kind of backing off a little bit. We did see, still see some further activity, but it looks as though uh, we may be looking at a migration of movement here, uh, considering this earthquake south of the swarming area. One thing I've noticed as well is a very good cluster of swarms down around the Indonesia area and parts of Papua New Guinea. So things kind of picking up much further south here, kind of squeezing the, old, the, uh, the, the plates here in this region. But I still think we need to watch that swarm area, uh, considering all that movement we've seen here recently. Latest quake of 4.8 in that uh, Papua New Guinea region, Indonesia area. Some activity spreading out here, kind of towards the Java Trench as well, with a 4.9 on the Java Trench. This one here overnight, haven't seen any further renewed movement, but uh, I bet with all this westward pressure activity, we can start to see things really pick up here in this region over the coming hours and days little activity uh, in the nepal region of 4.4 earlier today actually that's from late last night almost past that 24 hour threshold there so not a whole lot of renewed activity as we head further west one earthquake here into the indian uh, ocean area 4.7 in the carlsberg ridge that one was uh, earlier uh, this morning time frame Looking out in the Atlantic, though, things pretty calm, folks, aside from that one way down south. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yellowstone National Park. We don't have a whole lot popping up there at all. Looks like... Um, let's see what we got there. Looks like some activity out here around the Pelican Cove, but this looks a little like interference to me. I'm not really seeing any type of earthquake activity, just uh, interference on both those stations. Uh, little activity it looks like around the Maple Creek region these are earthquakes right here but aside from that things very calm at Yellowstone National Park for now uh, let's see what we got for uh, space weather let me bring up the space weather page here real quick see if the solar ham site folks have uh, th their stuff adjusted it kind of looks like they did already although this image when you go to click on it, it's still a few days old so uh, this is going to be the newest model that they have here. I wonder if they know that they're having some uh, uh, link issues there. Hopefully they will be notified. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll send this person a little quick uh, note. But uh, coronal hole activity, we do have one facing us. Sunspot activity is very minimal currently. This was updated August 6th. We do have a couple newly named sunspots. It looks like they have updated this image here of the sun and the newly named sunspot regions. Uh, 3074 is the latest. That one's kind of growing out there. Got a little potential maybe possibly in the coming days as that rotates into view. 3071 as well, getting a little, little action, close action going on there between the magnetic uh, polarities there of the sunspots. 3068, 3072, 3073. It's a pretty ginormous looking sunspot region, but not highly dynamic in terms of producing any significant flares. But there is a couple, definitely a, a couple sunspots we need to watch here coming up around the bend. Again, there's 3074. It's a pretty massive looking sunspot, and it's got a little dynamic uh, mix to it when it comes to making that uh, special spark out there called a solar flare. Currently, solar flare activity, very minimal. Uh, looking at uh, the map just shows uh, below the sea level not even kicking up into the sea over the past 24 hours so uh, things are kind of minimal currently folks uh, for right now on the sun three-day geomagnetic forecast looks like uh, around the August 8th time frame we should see that coronal winds uh, wind stream it's coming from this hole right here uh, we'll be arriving on or towards the earth sparking up maybe some auroras at the higher latitudes but only uh, only about a 35 percent chance we'll see if that develops into for, uh, something um, further current live data on the real-time solar wind shows the past three days of activity everything's stable in the interplanetary magnetic field density is somewhat neutral speed is way down there below the 400 range Things pretty calm currently, folks, on the uh, solar chart. Let's see what else we got. Earthquakes Canada. 
Let's see if these guys got anything uh, moving up to our north here. Not a whole lot going on. Um, not for sure what happened to the rest of the quakes here across the... Uh, oh, this is just the western part of the country. Uh, click for available. Let's go just mainly throughout Canada. I want to see the whole map. There we go. Not for sure what happened there. It's a little odd. One earthquake way up in the Yukon region, it looks like. A 1.6 from earlier. Much, much earlier. Aside from that, things pretty calm, as I noted, across the North American continent. So, that's a uh, little on the airy side. Same for up in Alaska. There's a couple of earthquakes throughout the day today. Looks like the largest was a 3.5 in the Gulf of Alaska. The all magnitudes map here looks about the same uh, in terms of typical earthquake activity throughout the Alaska region. No uh, unusual movement or major swarms to report in that area for now. All right, guys, enjoy your Friday night. Stay safe out there. It's a crazy, crazy, crazy world we're living in. That's for sure. But uh, again, if you have any comments, you know, I'm... I'm I'm open to uh, definitely suggestions and any type of uh, any type of comments you want to throw at me, pending they're civil and you know not not derogatory or anything. I'm, I definitely read all the comments there. I appreciate everyone's comments. Um, you know, and I, a lot of times I can't get back to everyone, but uh, again, you know, it's it's uh, it's what this channel is about. I don't suppress the comment section. YouTube does a fine job of it itself uh, if it comes to derogatory or anything like that. But uh, feel free to comment, say hello, let me know where you're uh, watching this video from tonight. And uh, if you give me your location, I will combat, or I'll combat, I will comment back uh, a big hello to you as well. So leave your location tonight. That's what we're going to do for Friday night. A uh, little suggestion here to all the viewers that are watching this update. Where are you from? Leave it in the comments section below of this update video, and I will definitely uh, reply to you guys. Alrighty, take care, stay safe. We'll chat you guys another time. Peace out.